Very good afternoon. If you're just joining us, we have uh, shot our way up to commentary. Loughborough Lightning against Saracens. Allianz Premier 15's round 18. We finally got here, everybody. Well done. Uh, Reese Edwards saying it's uh, effectively season uh, week number 47 uh, in their particular season. Um, and of course, then next weekend we go into the Allianz Premier 15's semi finals. One on Saturday, we know that's going to be at King's Home. And then on Sunday, will we be at the Stonex or will we be at Sandy Park? The feeling we're going to be saying that name quite a number of times in the coming years. And bearing in mind she's only recently taken a step up to elite level rugby, it's quite the story. But this is Saracens proving to be quite the story at the Sin Stadium. Not a whole lot of ball, not a whole lot of time, but Jess Breach will not hang around for anyone. Super working up the width and Saracens get the game's first try, having just gone down to 14. Aitchison, oh, it's been the interception from Sadia Kabea, and how much has Sadia Kabea got in the tank? Well, enough, it seems. Saracens are not going to try and threaten that. It's going to be a fifth league try of the season for Sadia Kabea. Right place, right time and lightning on the scoreboard have they now got numbers can they work it bottom and another player who will just go route one Saracens with the chance to score Tansley going for the line they're going to get the chance to recycle Vivas looks to the left where there's an Aitchison but they're not going to need her they've smuggled it over from close range who's coming up with the ball it looks like it's Poppy Cleal what a spell of possession from the visitors. That is Saracens at their pick and go best. Look at a drive away through. Saracens picking up very much where they left off at the end of that first half. Bottom and Cleal. Closer and closer they go. It's another try for Saracens. Candle, one of those at the bottom of it. Perhaps she wanted Talling just in a one channel over Helena, Helena Rowland, but now Nelson. Oh, and the gap might just open up here. Weskin Evans, she certainly got the pace to finish. Weskin Evans, oh, it's super from the Lightning right winger. She was scoring in the cup. She's taken her opportunities in the league. And with Chloe Rowley out and my Tonga, Matai Tonga at 15. It's super from Westcombe Evans and Lightning have their second. Couple of big tackles in that spell. Breach is just hobbling back to her feet, but it's Moore trying to pirouette through the tackle of O'Donnell. Casolo will pick up and look to take responsibility. Breach has just been sat down by the medic just out of your shot, but it's Cleal going for the line. Just short. Saracens looking for the score. That wasn't quite there. Now it's the bus from Ellis. And they are over the line this time. Saracens get their fourth try. And the bonus point for what it'll matter come the end. But that was the visitors turning things up. Well spotted as well. Ball comes wide. Is there going to be a chance? Out on this near side. Saracens to finish the afternoon through Cara Wardle. It will be the job done by the visitors with their fifth try. Roland is there. A bit more depth. That's Kim Evans. Good offload. Oh, and it's a lovely offload back inside. It's superb work from Loughborough Lightning to find Sadia Kabea. <laughs> Sally Williams, was it? Absolutely brilliant awareness to drag the defence over and get the offload back inside. It will go down to Sadia Kabea's try. We used to have a call for this called it the Rolex as you're getting the time coming down. 
And now they've been given the time. Infante will clear the ball to touch. And it will be another victory on the board for Saracens. They would love the win to have pushed them into second place. But as it stands, that will belong to Exeter Chiefs. They've scored five tries against Loughborough Lightning this afternoon, who rallied a late fight back in that second half and might have had another say on the final result of this game. But Saracens proving to have just too much for the home side.